Shark spotter killed in gruesome shark attack. A Frenchman who dedicated his life to watching out for sharks met his end at the hands of one, following a horrific attack in the world's deadliest territory for sharks. On April 29th, trained shark spotter Adrian Dubois was bodyboarding with two friends near the French island of La Réunion. While they were familiar with the ocean and sharks, the friends nonetheless were spotted by one of the large hungry predators, which stalked them under the waves. Without warning, Dubois was savaged with a bite to his right thigh, and then came another huge bite to his groin. As it was pulled ashore, beachgoers and relatives looked on in horror. Paramedics rushed to the scene to try to rescue Dubois, but he passed away some 30 minutes after the attack. His sad death comes a mere two months after one of his best friends, Alexandra Nassau, died in the same fashion. La Réunion is a known shark attack hotspot. The attack on Dubosk is the 21st near the island over the past six years, and the ninth fatality. Adrian Dubosk was a member of Shark Watch Patrol, a group with a mission to alert people to bull and tiger sharks in the area. Dubosk also regularly posted on Facebook about sharks he'd seen and tried to educate people about them. He was 30 years old. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. The odds of being killed by a shark are slim, but do you really want to chance it? Shark kills teenage girl in Australia. A teenage surfer was the victim of another shark attack off the coast of Western Australia on Monday. The attack took place at a popular surfing spot called Kelp's Bed in Wiley Bay. This coastline is reportedly known for great white shark sightings. The 17-year-old girl was surfing with her father on Monday afternoon, while her mother and two sisters watched from the shore. The shark attack left the teen with severe injuries to her leg, and she later died from her wounds. The beach has been closed by local authorities until further notice. Australian kite surfer becomes shark bait. A West Australian man on holiday in New Caledonia had his trip and his life cut short after he was attacked by a shark. The 50-year-old was kite surfing in a reef while friends remained on a catamaran nearby. At one point, the man fell into the water and was promptly chomped on by a shark, which left a deep wound in his right thigh. Friends performed first aid on the man, but he went into cardiac arrest and was declared dead an hour later. Witnesses weren't able to identify the type of shark that attacked the man, and only described it as being large. The incident is the second fatal shark attack on the island this year, after a woman was killed in April. Two other kite surfers were attacked in February and June, but neither of their injuries were fatal. Snorkeler dies in shark attack in Hawaii. A 65-year-old woman was killed by a shark while snorkeling off the island of Maui in Hawaii. On Wednesday morning, a shark attack occurred at a popular surf spot in Maui, the second largest island in Hawaii. The victim went snorkeling with two other friends but got separated from the others. She was alone when she was attacked. She was found unresponsive and face down about 200 yards offshore by other snorkelers who pulled her back to the beach. Her injuries to the upper torso suggested she was attacked by a shark. This is the first death from a shark attack reported in Hawaii this year. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Australian teen killed in Great Barrier Reef shark attack. Daniel Smith, an 18-year-old fisherman who had just completed year 12 at Mossman State High School, died after being attacked by a shark in waters on the Great Barrier Reef. The attack happened while Smith was fishing with friends on a private boat near Port Douglas, a resort town on Australia's northeastern coast on Monday. While swimming on Rudder Reef at around 11.30 a.m., Smith was bitten on his right upper thigh, groin, and upper arm by a shark and immediately went into cardiac arrest. His friends alerted authorities and performed emergency first aid using an onboard defibrillator. They were still performing CPR by the time they arrived on shore around two hours later. By the time they arrived at the hospital, however, Smith had succumbed to his massive injuries. It's still not yet known what type of shark attacked the teen. Friends and family have paid tribute to Smith on his Facebook page, and Douglas Shire Mayor Julia Lowe has offered her condolences as well. <laughs> 